Ah, I'm feeling exhausted. Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I just finished another production, and um, the essence of having that production is just to put into use what I've learned from my previous ogre, though it's still my ogre. Was an ogre, he is always an ogre, so he taught me so much. And uh, just the same way I'm dishing out to you, I'm not giving you all this information just for you to have a theoretical part. You should take the bull step, try what you are learning, what you are gaining from me and from others, try to put them into good use. So today, myself and a friend of mine, we decided to collaborate to do the uh, production. When I say production, it means uh, we are trying to arch. That is what I mean by production. So that is what we did today. And um, the first thing we had to do was that uh, yesterday night, around um, 8 30 pm that's 20 30 gmt plus one we injected the fish and the fish we made use of the female fish is a clarius while the male fish as usual is a tero a tero broncus that is the fish that we made use of and the outcome of the two it gave us what to call the hybrid because the hybrid we have the genetical characteristics of both both the clarias and the heterobronchus so that being said after the injection uh, depending on the temperature so from between 9 hours to 15 hours you have to spawn and when I say spawn you know at the beginning of this channel I told you I will not be using uh, bombastic words but um, for the sake of those people that are already at that level let me use it so that you as well will understand so when we say spawning spawning actually means uh, you forcing out the the eggs you are uh, pressing the belly of the of the fish to uh, release the eggs that is spawning so the essence of injecting it is just to enhance the spawning is more or less like you are doing induced labor for your fish so that uh, the eggs will be able to come out freely and that was done so today, this morning, around uh, 8 o'clock, we had to dissect the uh, male. If you, if you can remember, you observed that I told you we made use of uh, etero. So we dissected etero and we actually made use of three because uh, we observed that some of them do not have the required amount of uh, meat that thing we remove I'm going to show you I'm going to show you in the uh, practical section so we removed it and having done that we put it in the saline solution just like um, I'm going to show you so after that we spawn the eggs into the solution containing the meat already squeezed one now then we stay gently and after that we spread the uh, the content on the kakaban of, of course i know you should understand what the kakaban mean by now so having done that the next thing i'm going to do is in the next three hours i'm going to put on the tap but the water is going to be a gen 2 one. It's not going to be too much. And the essence of that is just to regulate the temperature of the water from which we are incubating or we are hatching them. 
and maybe like after like six hours that should be like nine hours now after production i can increase the um intensity do we call it intensity you just take one i don't know i can increase the way at which the water is coming out yes give me that word in the comment section below um so that's been said okay let me not waste much of your time let me just take you through what i was able to capture i was able to capture some of today's production like how you remove the meat and also some you see it now how do you know when the meal is mature for production of it yes you we observe the papilla has a blackish end the end of the papilla this is what we call the papilla can you see it that is the papilla and once you have it black like that it shows it's mature and you can actually use it for reproduction so the next thing we want to examine is to remove the meat and uh, when you dissect it you are going to see it so we cannot uh, see whether it has meat or not by virtual looking until when you operate so we are going to dissect it now once you dissect this is how you remove it and of course once you remove it you put it in saline solution just to maintain the motility and also the activeness of your meat of the spermatozoa that's the essence of putting it in a saline solution that's water plus salt so right here what we did is that uh, after spawning the eggs into the mixture of the milk you know i told you we collected the milk into a container so we uh, we try to stir everything together having done that for like 30 seconds we had a little water normal water then we are now sprinkling of kakaban that floating substance is what we call kakaban so that is that on this production please subscribe i love you bye for now